Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to discuss how we can make our character's feet rotate to match the angle of the ground that they're standing on. So as you can see, as the character plants their foot, if the ground is angled, the character's feet will rotate to match the angle of the ground. So this all starts with a leg inverse kinematics. And if you'd like to, I highly suggest taking this tutorial that I'm linking to here. It's by Druid Mechanics, and it teaches you how to make a control rig for leg inverse kinematics completely from scratch. So it's really great knowledge to have. I highly suggest going over that tutorial. And once you've done that, uh, that's actually the foundation for this setup here. So once you've done that and subscribed to that channel, come on back here. And I'll meet you back here and we'll go over the setup for the foot rotation. Okay, so once you have your control rig, it'll look something like this. And we're going to modify this rig just slightly to make sure that it also uh, rotates the feet. So the first thing we need to do is go into the foot trace function that we created. And we're going to add a new output uh, parameter for the hit normal from the sphere trace. So go to the return, go to under outputs, you can hit add a new output argument, name it hit normal, and make sure it's of type vector. Then go ahead and just plug the hit normal from the sphere trace into your new output parameter. Once you have that, you can come back to the rig graph and create two variables of type vector. And one is gonna be for the left foot trace hit normal, and one is going to be for the right foot trace hit normal. And so once you have those variables created, make sure to set them just after you do each foot trace using the hit normal as the out parameter to set the variable with. So once you have those hit normals calculated and set, what we're going to do is use them just before our full body IK node at the very bottom of our graph. So scroll down to the bottom here, and uh, what yours will look like will look like this, or something like it. And we're going to go ahead and adjust this with an aim math node. So what you'll do, I'll show you how to set this up from scratch here. Throw in an aim math node. And first, we're going to connect the transform. And you'll see that this actually has two uh, targets. A primary target for the aim and a secondary target for the aim. So basically what we want to do is set this up so that the target is coming from the sphere trace and the secondary target is the actual foot bone. So plug in the left foot trace hit normal into the aim math node coming off of the left IK foot bone. Okay, so it should start to look like this. Then we'll get this completely set up. The first thing you want to do is make sure that the target kind is set to direction. This is a directional vector. So we'll go to direction. Under primary target space, we want to make sure that this is actually set to none because this is the primary target is actually just coming from the sphere trace. So this isn't attached to any bone space at all. But the secondary target is actually going to be attached to the bone space of the foot that we want to affect. So in this case, it's the left foot. So we're gonna make sure that we say that is also a directional uh, target. And so this is in the end what your aim math node should look like. Okay, so we've got the get transform from the IK bone coming into the transform the hit normal as the target for both the primary and secondary, all of it's directional, and only the secondary is the actual bone. Okay, now we can actually plug the result from that into the full body IK node for the bone that we're wanting to affect. So for the left foot bone, uh, that's what it would, where it would go. And that's how it, that's what it is. That's all you need to do. Then your foot rotation is solved. But I will have to say that uh, myself and a lot of other students from the Druid Mechanics Discord ran into the issue that one of our feet bone 
one of our IK bones was facing a different direction than our other bone. Like in this case, you can see my right uh, foot IK bone is facing downward and my left one is facing upward or the X axis is. And so if that's the case, you just need to make sure to account for that somehow. I found the easiest way was just to use a negate vector node and negate the right foot trace hit normal going into the primary uh, target. So, and then don't negate the one going into the secondary target. So, in the end, this is what your right foot bone should look like if you had the issue of it being flipped, because this would be this would be what it looked like if you uh if you do have that issue. Just wanted to share that as well because it was shared with me, so I'm passing the knowledge on. In fact, all of this knowledge was shared to me. I didn't invent any of it or originally learn any of it. I just tried to learn it myself. So much appreciation for everybody who has shared knowledge with me along the way. Big shout out to the Druid Mechanics Discord and to Druid Mechanics himself for all of the knowledge that he shared and all of the great tutorials that he's created. And thank you so much for everybody who's supported my channel. Please take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already for more great videos like this one and to follow my journey in game dev. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, we'll see ya.